Okay, boys and girls, we are going to be working with our thesaurus again. Now, can somebody tell me what would we use a thesaurus for? Anastasia, what would we use one for? To find um, good or better words for another word, like nice, we could use um, another word. We could find another word for another. We could find uh, um, better options for a word. And what do we call those words? Alice? Synonyms? We could find synonyms for words. Very good. Yes, what can you tell me about a uh, thesaurus? Yes, we can, synonyms, shades of meaning, right? So we can have different strengths of a word. Yes, what can you tell me, Ivy? There can also be antonyms. There can be antonyms for the word as well. And so we are going to thesaurus.com. What we're going to do today is, is I'm going to give you the choice of four different words that you are going to look up. You're going to pick one. And you are going to make a thesaurus dinosaur, I guess you could call it. And when he's done, he's going to kind of, he's going to look like this. Does everybody see him? He's going to look like this. Yours is going to be on colored paper. So you're going to have colored paper dinosaur. So you'll have a choice of different colors. I have a few colors here for your dinosaur. You'll have some spikes and some feet and some eyes. And what you're going to do is you're going to look up your word of choice, and then you're going to have your spikes, and you'll write the different meanings on the spikes, and then you'll put them together. Okay, boys and girls? So you're going to have um, a chance to use the thesaurus. You'll, go, you'll get to pick from the four words I'm going to give you, and you're going to look those words up in your thesaurus. So these are the words you're going to look up. Now we remember that it's different from a dictionary because it does not give you the meaning of the word. Now these are words you may not know, but do you think you'll be able to maybe figure out the meaning from some of the synonyms? Yes, you should be able to figure out the meaning from the synonyms. So here are the words I'm going to give you. So everyone should be looking this way. So here are your four choices. You may look up the word legitimate. Don't look up anything at this moment on your iPad. Your eyes should all be this way. Okay, so legitimate, plural, okay, perplexing, You will choose one of those words, and you are going to be writing it. No one should be looking up any words yet. And you are going to write it in the stomach of your dinosaur. Can everybody see? Yes. You'll write it here in the stomach of your dinosaur. And then you are going to write the synonyms on your spikes. Does everybody see the spikes? No. Okay. No? Somebody didn't see the spikes? There's the spikes. And then you will put the spikes along the body of the dinosaur. And then you'll have some eyes to glue on him and some teeth. What questions do you have? Yes. Are we going to do antonyms? No, you're not going to do any antonyms. Yes. <sighs> yes, that's the only way you'll be able to get the How do you spell this? Yes, you'll have to cut them out. You'll have to cut them out. Okay? So now you're going to be able to, you'll get to choose your words. So here's our words again. Perplexing, 
elated, legitimate, and quarrel. Those are your four words you can choose from. How many words are you choosing? Five. How many words are you going to choose? Five. No, there are not five words. Mm. How many words are you going to choose, Jensen? One. You're going to choose one of the words, just one. Any one of the words you want. Okay. So let's get busy.